WA world champion hits back at drug claims. That I'm not a drug user or a drug... Perth boxer Lucas Big Daddy Brown insists he's not a drug cheat. The bouncer turned champion boxer says he'll fight for as long as it takes to clear his name after testing positive to a banned weight loss drug. How are we all doing? Big Daddy facing the cameras after laying low for more than 24 hours. I would like to ensure all my fans, the whole of the boxing world and all of Australia that I'm not a drug user or a drug cheat. Lucas Big Daddy Brown tested positive to glenbuterol after his victory over Ruslan Chegaev in Chechnya two weeks ago. Take a bow sir, your country was watching. The world heavyweight champ says he's got nothing to hide and that he willingly agreed to be tested both before and after the fight. Yeah, it would be completely stupid for me to take something knowing that we're going to be tested because we asked for it. So yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense. As the 36-year-old prepares the legal battle of his career, his reputation is also taking a hit. It's unfortunate social media sort of runs wild with things like this. Um, a lot of people that I thought were friends are now jumping on the bandwagon saying that I'm a cheat and everything else when they don't really know the stories. I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself deep down if I knew that I'd, I had cheated and trying to get away with the sort of thing. So for me, I, I know I'm innocent and um, that's all that matters. His only hope now lies in a second test. If it comes back negative, his name will be cleared. Brown is confident he's clean, but not confident he'll be cleared. Given he's 36 years old, a lengthy ban could mean his career is over. Glenbuterol is commonly used to burn fat by increasing the body's core temperature. In Australia, it's legally prescribed to use on horses, but not humans. I still want to uh, fight. I still want to, you know, live my life and, and you know, uh, represent the country and my family and everyone else. Nathan Curry, Nine News.